first started listening to you actually was just a little over a year ago when my marriage was um, like I had finally given up on my marriage and was re getting ready to get divorced. So that was like April of 2018. And I read your book, um, Permission to Leap. And <clears throat> because I was at that point, I was leaping out in all the different areas of my life. I was leaving a marriage. I was leaving a career that I had had for 15 years um, selling my home that I thought was my forever home, leaving the town in and <clears throat> moving to Oklahoma City, which doesn't sound that big to most people, but it was to me. Um, so when I joined your program was August of 2018, and that was my divorce had just been finalized. I had moved into a home with my kids on my own, and it was also my birthday month kind of did that to my, you know, for myself for my birthday. And <clears throat> just, I think it was just so scary to, to take that leap all at once and just um, a new job also, you know. Um, I felt like I needed the support of a coach um, because I was going through so many new things in my life. And I knew, like I've always known that I have what I needed inside me. I just <clears throat> needed some support in being able to pull those things from within myself. Um, I had been to therapy for a few sessions and that just wasn't what I needed, you know. Um, I just needed someone to challenge me and to really help me to, to look within myself and to build up that confidence and the ability to, to go out and, and be seen. I didn't expect your program to affect my personal life as deeply as it did. I guess I went into it thinking it was more of a way to grow my professional career, but the amount of change and growth that's happened deep inside me has really surprised me. My relationship with my boyfriend and <clears throat> how much more secure I am about myself, um, like I knew that we had a good relationship and I knew that he loved me, but I didn't realize how much my self-worth, my negative self-worth at the time was affecting that relationship and keeping me from having fun and keeping me from enjoying life. And so being able to, to find my self-worth again has really been a huge surprise. And it's really ever, you know, it's everything knowing, knowing my worth. <laughs> One of the, like the main things that I go back to is that I've learned how to let go and I've learned how to be a dead horse and stop trying to work when <clears throat> I know they're not going to and being able to not see it as a failure, but just saying, hey, that didn't work and now we're going to move on to something that does work. Um, and I just think that's so important. That's something I tell people all the time is just like, if you aren't incredibly happy in that that job or that marriage or whatever, you know, don't be afraid to let it go and to move on. There's a lot of life <laughs> to live. And I know I was all these things last year too. Um, but the me that I'm able to show the world now that I wasn't able to show last year is that I am a professional and I am experienced and knowledgeable in my field and people want to know what I have to say. People want to know my opinions and I don't have to just stay back and stay hidden in order to stay safe the way I was before. I'm just able to go out and be the best me that I can and know that that's okay. And that I will mess up sometimes. I'm able to have an awareness when I mess up, but not beat myself up about it. Like I used to be the worst to myself. This is where a lot of the work, the, the monthly work, on your modules has come into play is like digging down deep inside myself and letting myself off the hook for those things and not blaming myself and seeing that there's so much more out there to live and and just embracing that life and living my best life. I've, I've had lots of results and the first one that really sticks out would be my car 
I know it sounds silly now, but at the time, like I didn't have the confidence to make a decision about what car I should buy on my own. Um, but just going out and finding the perfect car and, and it's not hesitating. When you hear that inner voice inside you telling you to do something, you can't hesitate. You just have to, to follow it. And every time I followed that voice, then it ends up being the right decision. And I know that it's the right decision. So I was in a job in my field. I'm a speech language pathologist. So I had a, a degree and I worked in a school for 15 years. It was very, you know, routine for me. It was very comfortable for me. I, um, but the, I wasn't moving up. I wasn't um, going anywhere. And I needed to, um, I'd always wanted to actually be in a private practice clinic. And it didn't dawn on me until the other day when I was at the, the new place that I've started at now that this is exactly what I wanted to be doing in grad school. When I was in grad school, my dream was to be a pediatric uh, speech language pathologist in a clinic. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so that's pretty awesome right there. The second job interview I went to, I, I knew that that was it. And so I'm there now. I've been there for like a month. I've got a waiting list already there. <laughs> um, I'm working three days a week, which gives me lots of time to be with my kids. Also, like when I first started there, the software that they use, the billing software wouldn't work with my Mac. And the owner of the clinic just went out and bought me a laptop like that same day. <laughs> I got a bonus. Um, I got a $2,000 sign on bonus just for taking the job. Like that was about during the time that you were doing a money challenge also when I got hired there and I just had money to me from everywhere. And that's when it kind of dawned on I do. Like every time I need some money, whether it's four years or a few thousand dollars, it just some um, is there and right when I need it. And, and so I've learned to just stop worrying about it. You know, just let the universe bring it to me when I need it, I'll have it. I do feel like I've gotten a return on my investment. Um, first of all, because I haven't even missed that money. You know, somehow I was able to, to spend that money and then not even need it. And also I think it's given me confidence that's gonna pay off in the years to come. Um, because I'm, I, I don't feel like I have to just stay where I'm safe anymore and, and comfortable. I know that whatever I encounter, I can handle it. So I'm always going to be looking to do more and make more money and find the next thing that's coming for me. And I'm not afraid to want more either. You know, like this house that I'm in right now is great. And I know that there are, are bigger and better things and more waiting for us you just provide so many resources. And first of all, it's not just like a program to help you grow your business. And it's not just a program to help you with your personal development either. It mixes the two and that's how you have to do it, in my opinion, in order to have growth that will last and is sustainable. If you don't do the personal work, then it doesn't matter how much you go out and push and try to grow your business if your personal development can't sustain it either. So that's why I think it is so important um, to have someone that you're accountable to, to have someone that's checking in on you, and also being able to spend time listening and talking to the other people that are in the program was very valuable. The, the weekly calls, even if I wasn't on them, I can go back and listen to them. And a lot of what other people are encountering is just the same things that I'm encountering.